Let's make some beautiful DIY personalized gifts with Cricut. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Tis the season to make handmade gifts and I'm so excited to be partnering up with Cricut Canada who is sponsoring today's video to share with you some incredible personalized DIY gift ideas. I love the idea of personalizing a handmade gift, whether it's with a monogram, with the recipient's name, with something unique on that gift that the recipient is gonna love. And that's what I love about the Cricut machine. You can do that with so many gifts. So today I'm gonna share with you some easy, quick gift ideas. I love how all of these turned out. I'm going to share step by step from start to finish for each one of these so you can feel confident making your own DIY gift. Let's get started. Let's begin by making some adorable monogram keychains, the perfect gift for teachers, family, or friends. Open up design space and then click on the shapes tool, click on the circle and make a circle the same size as your acrylic monogram. I like to make mine clear so that I can see what I'm doing. Then go into images and search for brushed and find this background I'm finding here, or I will leave the image number down in the description box below. Click on the image and then insert it into your project. Resize it to fit your circle keychain shape exactly. I'm going to make mine pink so that I remember that it's going to be a different color of vinyl. Next, click on your text tool, type in the monogram you want to use. I'm using the letter K for this one and then choose a font for your monogram. For my monograms, I'm going to choose the Aldean font. Then I'm just making mine gold color because I know I want to make this a different color of vinyl. Then you can just copy and paste these monogram designs and create as many as you want and change each monogram letter. I'm going to make the background of some of mine pink and then change the background to a few of them green. I'm going to be using Cricut Explore 3 for all of the projects in today's video and then I'm using the roll holder attachment. Open up your design in Cricut Design Space desktop or I'm using the mobile app. Find your design and then you can connect to your machine via Bluetooth or the USB cable. Choose which material you're using. I'm using Cricut Smart Vinyl Permanent and then just follow the prompts on the app to send your design to be cut by the machine. Cricut Smart Vinyl is such that you don't have to use a mat with this material. So it's nice and thick, it has a thick backing and the Explore 3 is gonna cut this really, really quickly so that this gift is really easy to make. I found these acrylic discs and the keychain parts on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box below. Once everything is cut out, you can do what's called weeding, so that's simply removing the excess vinyl from your designs. Then take some transfer tape, cut it to size, place it over top of your vinyl just like this, and then use this Cricut tool to press it down firmly. Remove any of the protective covering on your acrylic discs if you have it, and then remove your vinyl design off of the backing. Place it onto the acrylic disc and then use Cricut's tool to smooth it onto the disc just like this. Remove the transfer tape and you have this perfectly on the back of your keychain disc. Now remove the protective cover on the other side of your disc. Place some transfer tape on your monogram letter that you cut. Then remove the design from the backing, place it on the other side of the disc, so the opposite side of your background, smooth it down and then pull the transfer tape off. Now you're going to take some needle nose pliers and just connect the rest of the keychain parts to the acrylic disc. I absolutely love how these turned out with the vinyl on one side and then the vinyl monogram on the other, it creates a really fantastic effect. Now let's make some personalized tumblers. These are a huge hit and I love giving them as gifts. They're so easy to make with the Cricut too. Again, open up design space, type on the text tool and then type the name that you want to create onto your tumbler. My absolute favorite Cricut font to use for these is a font called Babette. I love how it looks handwritten and it looks fantastic on these personalized tumblers. 
Now you're gonna click on your design and click weld and it's gonna make all those letters into one image. Then I like to make mine about four inches long or choose the size that fits your tumbler and then you're ready to cut it onto your Cricut machine. Again, I'm using Cricut Smart Vinyl in this beautiful black glitter, placing it in the roll holder, and then I open up my Cricut Design Space app and send my design to my Explore 3. So I'm clicking on the Smart Vinyl setting and then pressing go on the Cricut, and it cuts it really fast. Now take a tumbler, make sure it's nice and clean, weed the excess vinyl from your design of your name, use strong grip transfer tape if you are using glitter vinyl because it's going to work so much better for you. Smooth the transfer tape on, remove the design from the backing, and then apply it to your tumbler. Finally, remove the transfer tape and you have some beautiful tumblers. You can use all sorts of vinyl for these and give them as gifts this year. Now let's make some personalized monogram ornaments and you can place whatever you want inside of these. I put some candy for my girls. I found these fantastic tile look monograms right on Cricut Design Space. So just bring those right into your project. They're ready to go and resize them to whatever sort of ornaments you're using. Mine are four inches wide. Now you can send them to your Cricut. Again, I am using Cricut Smart Vinyl in permanent and I'm using the white color. Permanent vinyl is a good choice for anything where you do not want to remove the vinyl, so I'm using it for all of the projects in today's video. Once your design is cut, you can weed away all of the excess vinyl, place some transfer tape on top of the design, and then remove the design from the backing. I found these ornaments at Michael's and then you can place your design right on top of the center of the ornament. Use Cricut's tool to smooth it out and then remove the transfer tape. Transfer tape ensures that your designs are perfectly in place every single time. So I created an A, B, and C ornament for all of my girls and I'm going to fill mine up with M&Ms but you could fill yours up with anything you want. You could even put some Mod Podge inside of these and some glitter and make a DIY glittered ornament. Finish your ornament off with a bow, use it as a gift topper or a stocking stuffer, and enjoy. Now let's make a beautiful gift bag for Christmas. We're going to use heat transfer vinyl for this project. Open up Cricut Design Space, Tap on the images button and find this Merry Christmas image. It was actually a featured image this month and I loved it. I'm gonna use Smart Iron On for this project today. Again, you're not gonna be using a mat for this project, so it's really quick and easy. Whenever you make an iron on transfer design, you want to make sure that your design is mirrored because you're going to be cutting on the back of the material. Then follow all of the prompts on Cricut Design Space, cut out your design, and weed out the excess. I use Cricut's heat guide to make sure that I set my Cricut Easy Press to the proper temperature and time for all of my iron-on projects. You can use this bag blank from Cricut, heat it up with the Easy Press, and then place your design on top. Then you can iron the design with the Easy Press for the recommended amount. Once it's cool, remove the backing and you have this beautiful glittery bag that's perfect for gifting this Christmas. Let's make these adorable socks with this cute saying on it. If you can read this, bring me some coffee. I love how these turned out. Open up Cricut Design Space, create two rectangles that are the size of the bottom of your socks. So mine are three inches wide by five inches long. Now create whatever saying you want for the bottom of your socks. Use whatever font you like. And I'm just rearranging mine so that it fits perfectly on the bottom of your socks. I like Cricut Design Space because you can play with the line spacing, you can play with all of these things to make your design work perfectly for your project. So I'm putting one half of my sentence for one sock and then the other for the other sock. Once you have your design ready to go, you can delete the original boxes and then click on the text, click weld so that both of them are one image. 
Now you can send it to your Explore 3. Make sure again to mirror the image because you're going to be cutting these on to heat transfer vinyl. Make sure the heat transfer vinyl is the matte side up, load it up into your machine, follow all your prompts to cut your design onto your material. Once that's done, you can weed away all of the excess vinyl. When you have smaller details, I like to use this Cricut tool to remove all of the excess. Now you can take some wool socks, place the designs in the center bottom of each sock, and then use your easy press to press the designs with heat onto the bottom of the socks. Once the socks are cool, you can remove the backing and you are all done. Gift these as is or add them to a coffee themed gift basket. Let's create this adorable t-shirt for Christmas gifting. My littlest daughter loves Christmas, so I wanted to make this just for her. You can find this image in Cricut Design Space, import it into your project, and just make sure that it's the right size for your t-shirt. Mine is gonna be nine inches wide. Now you can send it to your Cricut with the desktop Cricut Design Space or the mobile app. Again, make sure that the image is mirrored. Follow all the prompts, cut it out. I'm using Smart Heat Transfer Vinyl in this beautiful red glitter, and then I'm using a white t-shirt. Place the design on the front of the t-shirt. I like to fold my t-shirt in half to find the center. And then use your Cricut Easy Press to heat that vinyl right onto the t-shirt. Once it's all cool, you can remove the backing and you have this beautiful t-shirt that's perfect for gifting. You can choose whatever image you want or even create your own with a text tool in Design Space. It's completely up to you and you can make a personalized gift for someone special this year. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which of these gifts was your favorite. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.